Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. I'm doing a movie review of the movie Ghostbusters Afterlife. This movie came out in 2021. It is an adventure comedy fantasy. The plot is a single mom of two kids inherits the decrepit farm of her absent father. After they arrive, they soon begin to discover their connection to the original Ghostbusters and the secret legacy that they've inherited. Um, I was very, very leery about watching this movie. The original Ghostbusters was iconic, a beloved movie. Everybody liked it. It's, it's an American classic. They did an all-female version of it a few years ago, and it was abysmal. <coughs> now, now, don't get me wrong. The ladies, they did, they did, it was an all-female version. The ladies that they did, that they got, did as good a job as anybody could given the crappy writing and the woke agenda. It just wasn't right. Even even cameos from the original Ghostbusters, the, the actors couldn't save it. I was afraid that this that this particular movie, Ghostbusters Afterlife, would be subpar like that one was. Uh, and let's face it, Hollywood these days does not have a good track record. They're not putting out good stuff. Hollywood is pushing an agenda rather than trying to make good programming. And I was so glad to be wrong about this movie. I was worried about nothing. This movie was so very good. Ghostbusters Afterlife. I, I mean, I was. We were. We were cheering and laughing through the whole thing. They tied it to the original movie in so many ways, and it had it had that same feel, you know. The writers included Dan Aykroyd and Jason Reitman. Jason Reitman is son of the legendary Ivan Reitman, who did the original one. Jason Reitman also directed it. Okay. And this is a fitting legacy for his father. Uh, Ivan Reitman died. I don't know if you're aware. A lot of the, a lot of the quality people died. Harold Ramis is gone, but you're going to love this. Add to that the stellar cast of talented and imaginative actors and the cameos of the original Ghostbusters in their original roles. You have a recipe for perfection. We were so impressed with this movie. It is a must-see for fans of all ages. This movie, we laughed, we cried. It was brilliant. The, the I don't know. There's no other way to put it. These people blew us away. The cast, it's got Carrie Coon, Paul Rudd, Finn Wolfhard, McKenna Grace, Logan Kim, Celeste O'Connor, Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, Ernie Hudson, and Annie Potts, among others. Sigourney Weaver is in it, but it's a really small part, but she is in it. The only original cast member I believe that wasn't in it was Rick Moranis, and I honestly don't know why. But, you know, I didn't see him. Maybe I missed him. I don't know. But I didn't see him. <clears throat> um, when, when, when I do these, I try to do a standout. <clears throat> and with the amount of quality people they had in this, it was hard to pick one because everyone, everyone involved in this is brilliant, both in front of and behind the scenes. The casting was brilliant. The directing, the... The acting, the, the 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 plot, the story, the different story arcs, the character development. There was nothing about this that was subpar. This is a top notch, top top notch production from start to finish. I, I, I don't know of a way to make this better, and unless maybe it's putting Rick Moranis in it somehow. But you know, um. But I try, always try to do a standout, and I hate doing the, oh, everybody's brilliant, because that's kind of chintzy. So I went with McKenna Grace. She plays Phoebe, the granddaughter of uh, Spangler. This young lady is quickly becoming one of my favorite actresses. She's been in Young Sheldon and Mr. Church, among others. In Ghostbusters Afterlife, she steals the show. 
She's really, really good. Look for her career to take off exponentially. She is going to go far. Watch out for her. If you never take my advice on any other movie, do it on this one. Watch this movie. I, I guarantee you, you have a personal guarantee from me. You're going to love this movie. There is nothing bad about it. And it was really nice to see the originals back. Hope this finds everybody well. You folks have a good day. God bless one and all.